Hello and welcome to Let's Try It. We're trying a, a game called Shroom and Gloom. Uh, this is a, I believe it's a free game because it is another one of these kind of like uh, game jam games. Um, you can see here, made in 16 days for seven day FPS. I think it was, I think that is right, seven day FPS game jam. Um, there's bound to be some issues, so. Uh, but we'll get to those. It looked really interesting. It looked like, um, yeah, yeah, I've been doing a lot of these, but um, like another card game. We'll see. We'll get, we'll jump into it. We'll see what's going on. Uh, so you might, you might be able to tell why it was I wanted to cover this game because it's got a real interesting look about it. Heal 15 health, unlock single use. Unlock... Deal two damage to self. Persistent, handy. All right, well, so we'll use the key card on that. Increase all cards in hands. Damage by two, exhaust. Ah, we got that old standby mechanic, the exhaust mechanic, unplayable. When a card is eaten, add a toothpick to your hand, replenish. Unplayable, when four cards have been played this turn, draw another card. Hmm. So this is the only one that uses energy. These other ones are unplayable passives. Um, I guess I'll take force growth. Not sure what I'm doing just yet. All right. Oh, I, I love this look so much. So it's like an FPS, like it's a first person game, but we're, we're, we're playing cards instead. Deal three damage if fatal, make toasty. All right, um, deal four damage. And I assume we have three damage in total. Uh, all cards in hand, da increase all cards in hand damage by two. So we could do this. And then these all do five damage. So we could we can make toasty. I don't know what that means. Oh, consume heal five health. So we can make two toasties. Oh no, we can't. We can't now because I've used up all of our energy. I assume I'll get those. Yeah, we can get we can pick those up in, in future hands. So yes, I think this is a deck builder. If you uh, if you are um, you know burnt out on deck builders, I understand, but I am not yet, and I I always think that these are in, worth looking at because they can potentially uh, be really interesting. They can do a lot of things differently. So let's make uh, let's, let's try a flash target takes. Three vulnerable. I'm assuming that will mean they take more damage. We will receive 150% more damage. This seems like a very good idea. We'll try and deal damage when their next turn comes. Okay. So we're going to deal ooh, lots of damage to them. So they are dead. We take three damage. That's fine. We have a toasty. We will use the toasty. I don't know how to use a card if it's on self, you know. We make another toasty. Dig for treasure. Build a practice dummy to sharpen your attacks. Heal 10 health, three uses, replenish. Um, let's make a practice dummy. I'm hoping that will like, make our attacks much better. So we're gonna, we're gonna use this key, open this up. Oh, what was that? Can I see that again? You're here. Okay, so we uh, have many choices to make. Um, you know, sarcasm has slash S here. So we can practice our dummy. Select a card to gain replenish. When you draw this card, draw an extra card. Sure. So we get like one, we get to basically improve one of our cards. We can dig for treasure also. Deal four damage. If fatal, increase this card's damage by one. Oh, I like those mechanics. Deal six damage to all. If fatal, make toasty. Or deal eight damage persistent. If fatal, gain two energy. I kind of like this because we can we can work with that. Gain two energy. I think we're good. Okay, okay. Um. Well, we can't kill anything yet unless... Well, I, if I play this, then I won't be able to play this. So... Replenish, I can't remember what replenish. I just got it, but I I don't remember what it does. So let's do this. We're doing six damage now. Six and eight. 
Uh, I don't think I can kill anything. 10 damage with this. Still can't kill anything with it. So I may as well kill something. Or, or hurt something. It seems like we can, um, like, interrupt someone's attack. Takes three vulnerable. We'll do that on this guy. Uh, I don't know. This says 150% damage. I don't know what 150%. I guess that means 15 damage. So this might actually be good. Oh, just barely not enough, huh? All right, well, we'll do another toasty. What? Why didn't that work? My goodness. Okay, well, we'll kill this guy maybe. I don't know what this means. We'll cancel attack if damage. Oh, I see. So we can only hurt them once. We're taking all kinds of damage. We have eight of 25 health left. We need a toasty. Um, let's see what replenish does. Can't remember what it does. So they're they're gonna nullify any any other attack I do. We'll try and retreat when the turn comes. Okay, we'll we'll kill them now then. Set up camp. Hunt for truffles. Heal ten health. Three uses. Replenish. Um. Don't know what set up camp means. Well, let's try, let's try hunt for truffles. I don't know. I don't know what any of this means. And it seems to me I don't have many means of, uh, rip, like getting any keys or anything like that. Hunt for truffles, let's try this. Increase max health by 399. What? Everlasting truffle. Tasty truffle, increase max health by seven. Consume. I don't know. Uses or consume. What, 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 what? Okay, we got a truffle. Whatever. I got a truffle. To gain two energy, draw one card, three uses. Uh, let's try and dig for treasure. Draw two cards. Deal six damage to all. If fatal, make toasty. Deal two damage, draw one card when used. Uh, I, this doesn't seem very good. I like draw two cards, I guess. We'll heal... Oh, we don't have enough energy. Okay. So I, I'm very close to death right now. We uh, might die. Inspired enemies deal double damage. This sounds awful for us. Uh, deal five damage if fatal make toasty. We want this. So we can get a toasty. Um, increase max health by 399. Um, deal six da damage replenish. I still don't know what that means. I should, I, I should have remembered, but I didn't. Uh, we could potentially kill something here. If I did, what is 150, that would mean double and then half again. So that would be 20 damage, right? So we could kill this guy. I think. Yes. So we're going to take six damage, unfortunately. Uh, if we could get another toasty, that would be good. Draw two cards. Ten damage. Persistent if fatal. Gain two energy. Hmm. Well, we can do this. I'll do this. It's not fatal. Oh, persistent. Meaning we get to keep it. Maybe. We'll use this truffle. Seems like we can gain, we can use that as many times as we want. Uh, six damage, replenish. And then, oh, they're, they're not gonna, they're gonna cancel. So we'll, we'll put some, um, I mean, it doesn't matter. They're almost out of health, but we'll put it, we'll put some vulnerability on them. Let's get a toasty. Um, dig for treasure. We need some health back. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Pick your card. Increase target's health. <laughs> Increase target card's damage by four. Exhaust. Deal ten. Sorry, deal one damage twice. If fatal, increase this card's damage by one. Deal eight damage. Linger. When another card grows, increase this card's damage by two. Uh, let's try this Raging Edge. I think that that would be good. So we have two energy left. We want to use one of those energies to get some health back. Um, 
I would kind of like to do some more practice dummy. Gain, um, energize. Gain one energy when this card is drawn. Let's do this one because that, that would be effectively make this card cheaper. In a way, it would make it a one cost card. I know it doesn't really work like that, but you know what I mean. There's uh, some really cool chops to this game, I gotta say. Really nice um, execution of an, of an idea. I mean, it's basically a deck builder. I don't know if the first person aesthetic really adds much to it, but I, I have to appreciate the, uh, the attempt. So, okay, hold on. We'll add some vulnerability. What is this? We'll ignore the next two effects. Let's add vulnerability to this. I want to try and um, make Raging Edge kill. So if I do it and use Raging Edge, it's going to deal what? Two damage twice at the very least? Maybe three damage twice if it rounds up? I'm assuming it's going to deal... Okay, so this would deal what? Um, 12 and then half again is going to be 15 damage. Okay, so if we do flash, we can do stab. And then we'll do Raging Edge. Perfect. Oh, so it does round up. And we'll do Roast as well. Just to hit them. But they, they don't take anything. So how are we going to get through that? So we gain an extra damage or an extra energy because of Thirsty Mace. We could try and draw, uh, draw some more cards. Increase all cards by hand, enhanced damage by two exhaust. Is this permanent, do you think? I don't think it is, but I have to try. May as well tr use the heal, and then we'll, we'll do 10 damage. No, we won't. We won't do 10 damage. So now it's going to do lots of damage to us, which is no good. So we have to, we have to try and, and hurt it. This will do at least um, damage, like 2 damage, so it should get rid of 2 of these. Yes, and then that'll get rid of the last thing. So we're gonna take six damage. That's okay, we're actually doing quite well for health recovery. Deal 12 damage, persistent, energize, if fatal, gain two energy. We should be able to kill. Uh, I should have made it so that this roast would, would do the kill, and I think I can still. Yes, so we get that toasty. Get, we wanna get that toasty, erect toad shrine. 10 damage to self, draw two cards, gain one energy. Interesting. Um, let's check out Erect Toad Shrine. You gotta go for the weird one, right? What was that? What did that say? Well, I'll never know. Um, let's Erect a Toad Shrine. Lick the toad and forget something. Sure. Um, can we forget this stab? I don't know. Does this mean, like, get rid of it forever? Yeah, I think so. I think that card was probably good, but not good enough, maybe. Alright. Select a card. Vulnerable. Vulnerable enemies take 50% extra damage per stack. Um... Let's do Raging Edge. I think that that would be valuable. I like this. I would love to see this become like a fully fledged game. Whoa, this guy is disproportionately large. Um, so these roasts still seem like they seem buffed from previous rounds. So I think that this is actually permanent. Um, let's put uh, the vulnerability on this guy. Uh, we are going to take some damage, but I'm going to get a toasty. And I, I am going to use this on... Like, the toasty is worth it. It's worth using that. It's worth getting it. I think. Okay. Um, do you think we could do Raging Edge? Two damage twice. Hmm. If fatal... Okay, let's do this because we'll gain that energy back. It's persistent, so we can use it basically as many times as we want. Raging Edge is not going to be good. 
this round. We could do this twice. 24, 24. That's, that's really good damage. We can be happy about that. We are taking quite a lot of damage. We need to kill this guy post haste. What is this? We'll try reinforcements when their turn comes. Okay, that's not good. We want to keep stacking them vulnerabilities. I actually think I need to draw some cards. Raging Edge could be really good right now. I think I could make this work. 36? Yes, we can kill with Raging Edge. So it'll increase the, the damage. Unlock, draw one card when used, three uses. Have one extra max energy in the next combat. Draw a card. I like I like the lock pick. Let's let's use it like now. So we're halfway through. Uh, is it just me or are we a little bit dinged up right now? Okay, we need to regain some health. I think. Wouldn't mind hunting for truffles. Heal ten health, two uses. Let's use this. That doesn't use up a lot of energy. And then, um, we could erect a tow train. I kind of like our cards. I don't think I want to forget anything. So let's use a trouble. Gain one energy, draw one card, consume. Deal five damage to all consume. If fatal, make toasty. Does consume mean it's gone? Uh, I feel like this would be more useful long term gain two energy draw one card three uses let's let's try this we get we get some energy back uh sure dig for treasure trigger all if fatal triggers in your hand twice Ooh, that's really cool eager sacrifice trigger all if fatal triggers in your hand why so this costs one and then this is Willing Sacrifice, it costs zero. And then Weird Sacrifice, trigger all if fatal triggers in your hand to draw two cards, but it costs two. I like this. Because we can improve our uh, our edge card with that. I'm gonna do this just because we can. And it turns out I really don't actually wanna do this, sorry. A complete waste, I understand. I should have healed instead. That could be my downfall. Um, I would like to draw two cards because I'd like to get my edge. Mm. If fatal gain two energy, we could make this work. If I add two damage to this, I would only be 14, but then we can make something vulnerable. I... Uh, hmm. I think we want to kill something with this. Uh, I would love to force growth on it. It's a real shame um, I can't do both of these at once. So I think I'm not going to use it. This, I mean. I could really use a toasty also. Um, five damage. So, yeah, 150% would not be enough to make this worthwhile. But if I did force growth, I could get a toasty. And then we would improve all of our cards. So I think that's the play. Because then we can kill that, get a toasty, and then we still get to improve all of our cards. So this guy is uh, singing. He's going to improve this guy. Gain one energy, draw one card, consume. Trigger all if fatal triggers in your hand twice. This is worth doing, I think. Because we're going to make a toasty and also improve this card. So let's do that. Right? This is now five. And we get, uh, we get to heal quite a lot. Um, this is only going to do ten damage. But we'll do 11 damage with this. It's not enough to kill this guy. I think it would be better to try and improve this card by killing something. Because eventually that card's going to be like ridiculously good, right? So now we're going to we're going to 
blow this guy out of the water. I kind of want to make another toasty. May as well get the most out of our cards, right? Um, I have three energy, so I could... Well, this will kill him. It, I think this will also kill him. No, it won't. Uh, unfortunately, this will also kill him. I wanted to not kill him so that I could possibly use the roast, but I don't think that's possible. Dick for treasure, discard hand, then shuffle deck, then draw three cards, exhaust. 10 damage to self, draw two cards, gain one energy. I don't like this. I don't like that. Dig for treasure, discard hand. Um, Let's dig for treasure. I wish I had another key. We're, we're making good progress here. The dummy is, is very worth doing. If fatal, increase damage by two. If the attack is fatal, increase this card's damage. Well, we're gonna use that on Fatal Edge. I think that that will be great because it'll it'll continue to, like, it'll exponentially improve it. We're gonna dig for treasure. Hungry Blade, deal four damage. If fatal, increases this card's damage by one. We already have one of these and it's already, like, well underway. Deal two damage, draw one card when used. Deal three damage, add one vulnerable to target. Uh, hmm. I guess so. The reason I like that is because it improves vulnerability and actually having a less damage card wouldn't be bad because then we could try and like, if it's just barely enough to not kill something, but then enough to damage it enough so we can, we can get our, we can trigger our if fatal effects. Um, we don't need to use this. G gain two energy, draw one card, two uses left. Uh, we, we can save that. I do appreciate that there's like almost two deck building games going on here. There's one that are, is for combat and there's one for like the between rounds. That is actually pretty novel. Okay, we can definitely kill something here. I think we should try and kill this guy. This is going to do eight damage. 150% times 8 is going to be 16 plus 4 is 20. So we should kill this guy. Wait, what? Battery 0. Oh, no. I, I didn't realize this had a certain number of uses and then it was worthless. Oh, oh, that sucks. Oh, man. I got, I got to really rely on that card and now it's not going to do it for us. So we'll kill that guy instead, so we'll still manage to improve that card. I may as well um, use the frog to forget the flash if, if it's no longer worthwhile to us. Uh, trigger all if fatal cards, triggers in your hand. So we'll get a bunch of energy from this, but I don't think it's actually worthwhile right now. Energize. If fatal, gain two energy. Um, we may as well try and get a toasty. So this will do... I don't think we can get a toasty. No, we can. No, we can't. Shoot. I should have done the stab instead. I get, Actually, that would have been exactly the same. <sighs> um, you know what? We're going to use this so we can get a bunch of energy. And I guess we do get some toasties, so that was worthwhile. Um, then we'll use the Thirsty Mace so we can get our full energy. And then, um, we still are not going to be able to get another Toasty out of this, but that's okay. What we can do is continue to get extra energy, because every time we get two energy, that means we can use this another time. So we may as well, right? Yeah, there we go. That, that card is amazing. Unplayable. Replenish two. Draw two cards when this card is drawn. Uh, eh. Have one extra max energy in the next combat. Draw a card. Okay. I like this. We'll use it right away. Unlock. Draw one card when used. Two uses. Let's use it. I want to use the dummy. I like the dummy. Replenish. When you draw this card, draw an extra card. Okay, that's what, that's what that does. Um, let's put it on Thirsty Mace so that when we have extra energy, we can use it. Um, I don't have the frog, unfortunately. I want to forget the, 
the flash. Left to rot, deal eight damage to all, linger, exhaust. When you eat, increase this card's damage by two. Okay, so we could take that and then, um, oh, I wanted, I wanted some truffles. Truffles are, are actually kind of legit. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Deal 10 damage to all linger exhaust when you eat increases damage. Okay, so can we... We can draw two cards. Um, this will actually kill stuff now, like by itself. We don't need to like eat, like manipulate a situation. And it'll improve that card as well. Um, I, there's not really a good way to spend the rest of our energy, so we might as well use this. I don't know what linger means. If there's more time, like if this game had more dev time, I'm sure uh, like the best thing you can do, I think, is like have when you hover over cards, it, it reminds you of what certain mechanics are. Um, Eager Sacrifice right now is fantastic. It'll give us basically a bunch of energy. And then we'll use Force Growth to basically improve all of our cards. Um, we can use Thirsty Mace to kill this guy for free. I should have used the Roast. I don't know why, what I was thinking. It's okay, we got some, we got some uh, Toasties. So now um, we can use the Stab and the Roast and the Thirsty Mace basically twice. We want to add vulnerability if we can. Hello, hello child. Um, this will help. Yes, yes, yes. So that's pretty good. It's not as good as uh, having like three vulnerability, but if we keep stacking the vulnerability on, um, that will be good. Can we we can use eager sacrifice to gain a bunch of energy gain our use our toasties we're almost at full health like we have very good recoverability right now um we'll put on more vulnerable may as well use everything because they cost one energy each yes we, we are doing quite well Lockpick. I do like lockpick, and I think it's a good one to take because it basically, like, overall improves the, the you know, your situation dramatically. Being able to draw more is good. Okay, we can, we can set up our frog. I always want to do the dummy. Energize. Gain one energy when this card is drawn. Oh. Um. Yeah, I mean, inspiration is a good choice because then we can use it. It basically becomes free. Uh, I'm going to forget the flash because it's now worthless. Unless we could charge it. If I could charge it, that would be nice. But I'm going to assume that we can't charge it. And I want some treasure. Unplayable. When a card is eaten, gain an energy replenish. I don't know what that means by eaten. Tri trigger all fate if fatal cards in your hand. Unplayable. When a card increases damage, draw a card replenish. Um, this is great. Uh, I like that a lot. I love the, these halls are becoming, like, increasingly more crusty and weird. Increase max health. I want to do that. This thing is, like, always a good idea to play because we're going to, uh, improve it dramatically. It's, like, becoming ridiculously good now. And this is basically going to be free. What are What's with these, like, very small small potato enemies right now um we'll take we'll take lockpick it's just good i know i already have a few lockpicks but that's fine let's do a truffle hunt heal five health draw two cards consume uh yeah have one extra max energy in the next combat draw a card this seems very good for now we can lockpick we'll lockpick um, and we'll dig twice. Apply seasoned to enemy, seasoned on death, make a toasty, exhaust, replenish. Deal eight damage, linger, when another card grows, increase this card's damage. I don't know what grows means. 
Exhaust when you eat increases car- No, I don't really like any of these. Seasoning is okay, I guess. Uh, weird sacrifice. Trigger all if fatal triggers in your hand. Draw two cards. I think that this is fine. We can make that work because we actually get energy back by playing it. So this is, I think, the final boss. Whoa! Dang. Um, this is the worst time to get Weird Sacrifice. As we'll play that. Um, this will be fatal, so it'll kill that guy. We're about to take 8 damage, and they're about gonna inspire their minions. Eh, hey, whatever. Ouch. Alright, Fever. When a card increases damage, draw a card. Replenish. So, this is gonna be fantastic. I'm actually gonna use Inspiration because I would like to get our, um, Willing Sacrifice card, if possible. Still don't have it, so let's use this as well. Eager Sacrifice. Here we go. This is gonna be incredible. It's actually ridiculous. And then we'll use our weird sacrifice to continue the ridiculous nature of things. Um, may as well season this guy. Let's go ahead and force growth everything that we have right now. Um, we'll crippling blow him first so we add a bit of vulnerability. What is this? It, oh, they're seasoned, right. Um, we want to do everything except Thirsty Mace. Draw a card, replenish, right. 31 damage twice. Wow. Okay, let's do it. That was, that was great. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just throw everything at them. 24 damage. It's not as good as, um, doing 18 damage, but I guess we can't do anything else, right? Um, I guess I'll throw out 24 damage. 48, okay. So that was a really nice ch uh, chunk of damage. We are gonna take some damage, but that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and throw out our inspiration. We didn't get our mace, unfortunately, so weird sacrifice is actually not going to do much for us. Oh, I guess never mind, because it's gonna draw two cards. Use our truffles. Now we have our thirsty mace. So now we can use our eager sacrifice. And every time things get powered up, we draw more cards. So we've basically got our entire deck in our hand every time. We'll add some more vulnerable to them. And then we'll use our raging da edge, which is now doing 40 damage twice. Never mind the vulnerability, it's doing 80 damage twice. Ridiculous. Oh, that was almost almost a kill. Unfortunately, they're going to nullify the next two attacks. That's unfortunate. Triggers in your hand twice. We want to draw two cards, so we will. Um we well, hmm. We can uh gain our health. Our, our, let's just go ahead and kill these guys. Oh, what? He? Oh, I see. He used that, and these guys are going to nullify the next couple of attacks. That's a bummer. That's fine. We can we can totally salvage this. I'm pretty sure I can win now. Yeah. Wait, what? Did he still have some effects left? It's fine. He's dead now. Um. There you go. Unfortunately, I can't use this again, so I couldn't. I can't win right now, but I will win on the next turn. I want to. I want. I want to do everything. We're gonna. We're gonna overkill this so hard. It's gonna be ridiculous. Trigger everything. Trigger everything three times. Get our max health up. Um, do we have anything left? Add vulnerability. Um, 
Well, we might as well use Raging Edge. It does 52 damage. That was that was great. Unlock single use mushroom key. Is there an extra like secret boss here? We're doing like ridiculously well. This is a really cool game, I gotta say. Um, it, it it has like basic mechanics, but it's remixed them in a very novel way, and it feels fresh, honestly. Like I've seen some of these mechanics before for sure, but like it's not verbatim. It, it it's uh it's truly novel. It's unique. It's got its own thing going on. And you gotta admit, <laughs> it's got a look to it. Are we gonna become mushroom? We did eat a few truffles. Maybe we ate it one truffle too many. Oh, wow. That was the end. Shroom and gloom. Thanks for playing. All right. Well, that's it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, wait. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, link for this game in the description. You, I believe, can grab it for free. I would recommend uh, pitching a couple bucks to the devs for, um, or, or dev, singular, for doing a fantastic job on this. I think this is a really cool game. I'd love to see this developed. You know, I, I found out recently that Inscription was a, uh, a, a Ludum Dari kind of game jam a, at first before it became what it was. I could absolutely see this game becoming something as, as significant as Inscription. Um, you know? It's it's already really fun, and you know it might not be super difficult, but I think that maybe making a deck builder fun, like really fun, like easy to kind of snowball, is just as interesting as it is making one like balls to the wall, hard as nails. Like I've seen a lot of hard as nails deck builders. It's kind of nice to see one that's just like fun to smash some cards together and, and make something interesting happen. Anyway, uh, this was Shroom and Gloom. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.